Welcome Vegas Nation inside of the Las Vegas Review Journal studio. I'm Cassie Soto. Well, we all know that Allegiant Stadium will be home to the future Las Vegas Raiders, but it will also be home to the largest 3D printed structure in the world. Here to tell us more about that is Stadium Insider Mick Akers. Mick, thanks for stopping by. How you doing? Good, good. All right. Well, we recently went on a tour of the Allegiant Stadium. We were able to see the skeleton of what will be the Al Davis Memorial Torch and where it'll be uh, in regard to the stadium. Can you give us the specs on that? Yeah, so it's going to be in the north facing end of the stadium where the 85 foot lanai doors open up to the Las Vegas Strip, one of the you know best views in the whole city. So it's going to be 85 feet tall as well. Uh, right now it's being 3D printed. Um, Don Webb, the CEO of the stadium company, said it's going to be the largest 3D printed object in the world. Did a little research myself and it looks like it pans out. So yeah, it look, it's going to be, you know, obviously a pretty cool thing to have in the stadium in a little trinket in there. Um, then surrounding the, the whole um, torch itself is going to be a, a bar area and then a 55,000 square foot club, uh, one of nine in the whole stadium. Um, Don Webb mentioned that's going to be the only one that's open to anyone that has a ticket to an event. So the rest of them you have to, you know, be spe have special access. So this is a little bit cooler. Um, you have the you know, the little, you have the whole torch area bar. Obviously, you can see the game or the whatever concert's going on down below. Right. And then you have the view of the strip. You know, saying you know if the doors open or not. You see the glass you can see through and all that. So it's just one of the. I think the cooler hangout spots in the whole stadium. Definitely. Well, if people are missing from the seats, we'll know where to find them. Well, uh, on that tour, and you mentioned Don Webb, I tried to ask him the specifics of what the flame will be made out of, try to get him to spill the beans, but he didn't give me anything. He said it would be a special effect, is the word that he said. Any clues on what we think the flame might be made out of? Uh, everyone around is being tight lipped on that. So, like yeah. they said, it's not a projection, it's not a hologram, it's not a real flame like the one in Oakland because they have like a special ceremony before each game or a player or a former, you know, former player or someone that has some ties with the Oakland Raiders will come and light it. So, this one, not real flame. Um, he didn't say what it's going to be, but it's gonna, he said it's going to be the first of its kind, whatever it is. So, you know, it's something to look forward to whenever that pops up. Very Las vegas -y. It's going to be something extravagant. All right, Mick, thank you as always. Thank you. <laughs> all right, well, that'll do it for us. But for all your stadium updates, be sure to head on over to VegasNation.com and download the Vegas Nation app. I'm Cassie Soto. He's Mick Akers. Thanks for watching.